Hello, I'm here to review a third grade math game that I have created. It is called What's the Area? So to get started, this is how the game board looks like. If you can tell, it is based on a traditional game board template. The game board steps go around it. And what you will need is one dice, any um, game markers you can find. I am using small trains that I have found from a previous game I had laying around. You will need note cards. You can make these out of index cards or any um, hard stock paper. They're easy to make. You will need um, the formula for the area pencils, and graph paper. So the way this works is a, you can play it up to four players. And in this case, we'll say we have two players. So we put the two game markers on the start square. And the players take turns by rolling the dice. In this case, I got three. So they go three steps. Once they have landed there, they grab a card that you make. And as you can see on the back of the card, there is a rectangle printed on graph paper. So the reason for this is that it is easier for the student to count the units. And in order for them to find the area of rectangles, they will need to do the length times width. So they will count the units. In this case, it's one, two, three, four, five, five down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten 10 across. So five times 10. And if they need any scratch paper to do their work, that's where the graph paper will come in. So they'll use the graph paper, show their work, and their partner, their, the other player, can even check their math as well and even do it while they're doing it and see, oh, well, you're right, you know? And um, if you don't want them to play the game that way, you can um, actually number the note cards and provide them an answer sheet. So the other player can be like, oh, what note card do you have? Number three. So they'll check to see if that's the correct answer. They'll take turns and the other player will roll until whoever um, gets to the finish line first wins the game. So if I pick up another one, they are not all the same. This rectangle is bigger than this one. So you have different sizes. That way they have different um, problems that they are trying to solve. Um, these are made out of stock paper and I just cut out a graph paper and just pasted it on there. Um, for the beginners, if they need the formula, they can use it, you can provide it for them. And that's all you would pretty much need. This game board is based on the teak of finding the area of rectangles. So this will teach them how to um, use a formula and input um, numbers and to find the answer. And you can even expand this game, even do perimeter, um, even different figures that don't all have to be rectangles. And you can use that for your third graders. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.